In the summer of 1997, NASA's Pathfinder spacecraft arrived on the surface of Mars and began transmitting extraordinary, renowned images back to Earth. But numerous days in, something went awfully wrong. The transmission stopped. Pathfinder was, in effect, procrastinating, keeping itself fully occupied however stopping working to do its crucial work. What was going on? There was a bug, it ended up, in its scheduler. Every OS has something called the scheduler that tells the CPU for how long to work on each task before switching, and what to switch to. Done right, computers move so fluidly between their numerous duties, they offer the impression of doing whatever simultaneously. But we all understand what takes place when things fail. This need to offer us, if absolutely nothing else, some step of alleviation. Even computers get overloaded sometimes. Perhaps learning about the computer technology of scheduling can provide us some concepts about our own human struggles with time. One of the very first insights is that all the time you spend prioritizing your work is time you aren't investing doing it. For instance, let's say when you inspect your inbox, you can all the messages, picking which is the most important. As soon as you have actually dealt with that one, you duplicate. Appears reasonable, however, there's an issue here. This is what's referred to as a quadratic time algorithm. With an inbox that's two times as full, these passes will take twice as long and you'll need to do two times as a lot of them. This means four times the work. The programmers of the operating system Linux experienced a similar issue in 2003. Linux would rank each and every single one of its tasks in order of significance and sometimes spent more time ranking jobs than doing them. The programmer's counterproductive option was to replace this complete ranking with a limited variety of concern pails. The system was less exact about what to do next however more than made up for it by spending more time making progress. So with your emails, insisting on always doing the extremely crucial thing first might cause a disaster. Awakening to an inbox three times fuller than regular might take nine times longer to clear. You'd be better off responding in chronological order, and even at random. Remarkably, sometimes giving up on doing things in the best order may be the key to getting them done. Another insight that emerges from computer scheduling pertains to among the most prevalent features of contemporary life, disruptions. When a computer goes from one job to another, it needs to do what's called a context switch, bookmarking its location in one job, moving old data out of its memory, and new data in. Each of these actions comes at a cost. The insight here is that there's an essential trade-off between productivity and responsiveness. Getting serious work done methods lessening context switches. But being responsive ways responding anytime something turns up. These two principles are fundamentally in tension. Recognizing this tension permits us to decide where we want to strike that balance. The apparent solution is to minimize interruptions. The less apparent one is to organize them. If no notice or email requires a reaction more urgently than as soon as an hour, state, then that's exactly how typically you must examine them. No more. In computer technology, this idea goes by the name of interrupt coalescing. Instead of handling things as they turn up oh, the mouse was moved, a key was pushed, more of that file downloaded. The system groups these disturbances together based on for how long they can manage to wait. In 2013, interrupt coalescing set off an enormous improvement in laptop computer battery life. This is since delaying disturbances lets a system inspect whatever at the same time, then quickly return to a low power state. Just like computer systems, so it is with us. Possibly embracing a similar method may allow us, users, to recover our own attention, and provide us back among the important things that feel so rare in modern day life, rest. Let us hear from you in the comments area below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and show your pals. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.